Today was PTQ and practice day for the David Smalls PBA Open in Jackson, Michigan. And uh, the PTQ unfortunately didn't go quite as we wanted. Brian missed the, the cut and Tim was first man out. So unfortunately that was not kind of quite what we were hoping for, but it is what it is. Uh, they, they both had a chance the last game, just didn't, uh, didn't quite get there. Uh, but then we had practice, we're bowling on 37 foot uh, Viper, and I think the scores are going to be fairly high this week. Uh, topography doesn't seem to be any major issues, um, the cutter hooks, looks decent, I felt like they played pretty clean, pretty, uh, pretty good back ends on the fresh, which also means that Everything is going to be a lot in play on the fresh because uh, of how how much change of direction there is. So a lot of the reactive balls tend to be too quick and change direction too much, which forces you left and then gives you no room to miss. So everything is going to be a big uh, big part of it. When they break down a little bit, some oil gets down the lane, reactive ball starts coming into play, and um, yeah, I think the scores are going to pretty good. Uh, I had a good look with uh, UC3, uh, Phase 2, Idle, Reality, Idle Helios looked alright, uh, Hyro Pearl looked, looked okay towards the end, so smoother, symmetrical balls, bigger, slower balls, uh, I had a shiny Nova that looked alright too, so it's all gonna come down to how to break down, how the field, how far left the field uh, wants to play and how quickly they want to get away from your thing. So uh, I imagine that uh, cut's going to be quite high, have to strike a lot, uh, so hopefully I do. Um, yeah, so we ball two blocks tomorrow and you can follow on flowballingpba.com of course here emacs i'll be doing recaps so please subscribe and uh, follow uh, follow me on social media follow my bowling show on social media to get all the updates and uh, i'll see you tomorrow in another video